today I want to talk a little bit about um, items that I used during my recovery from my lumpectomy surgery and um, things that I really think, these are things that I think were essential to have. So hopefully if you're kind of looking and trying to prepare for your own surgery or if you know someone who's about to go through a lumpectomy surgery and you want to know how you can help and how you can support them, uh, perhaps some of these things will fit what you're looking for. Um, I will have links for everything down in the description below. So uh, with that, let's kind of go into my top items to have during this time. So um, one of the things that will happen after you have your surgery, whether you're getting a lumpectomy or a mastectomy, is chances are you're going to end up with something like this which is a lovely surgical bra. Um, this bra has Velcro everywhere. It has it on the shoulders, it has it down the front, it has it on the sides, and it also has these little um, hooks here so that if you have um, some drains put in, you can hook your drains to that um, uh, bra and uh, it'll hang comfortably under whatever you're wearing. Um, like I said, this this is kind of standard you'll wake up from surgery with this on um, it gives some really good compression uh, that you'll need during that time um, but for me the issue was uh, they only uh, sent me home with one of these so the one i had on and um, when it was time for me to take a shower i didn't want to um, put on just the same bra or have to wait and do that laundry before taking a shower and all that so um, what I did was I got myself additional bras from this company called Anna Ono and I again I'll link it below and they specialize in bras, um, undergarments, lingerie for people who um, are going through breast surgeries, breast cancer journeys, um, or just general discomfort. So um, this is the staple bra that I used um, when I wasn't wearing my surgical bra. Um, it has about four rows of hooks in the very front. Um, the importance of having that stuff in the front is because when you go through your surgery, you won't be able to like raise your arms and, and do things that, um, you probably normally would have, uh, snap your bra in the back and that kind of thing. So it's soft. It has a really nice design, you know, kind of that little pleat there has a lot of give comes in many different sizes um, and I believe this is a extra large size uh, which was very comfortable for me I was a um, 42 F I also had a with my lumpectomy I also had a breast um, reduction and lift on my other breast um, but this was still comfortable for me to wear I went down to a a C cup after my surgery, but this seemed to work really, really well. So a good um, set of post-surgery bras are definitely needed. I would definitely have more than one, um, at least two or three to have so that when one gets dirty, you have alternatives there ready to go. And then you can go ahead and wash whatever is dirty. Another thing that I got from uh, my support group of friends and family which had uh, been very, very awesome to wear during my time when I was recovering, especially those first few weeks. Um, this is called the Recovery Shirt. This was um, uh, created, I believe, by a nurse. And it is a very breathable, like, jersey fabric. I don't know if you can see, but it's you can kind of see through it. No, that's not better, but it's breathable. It's a really breathable fabric. Um, it also has uh, Velcro instead of snaps. You've probably seen that me wear these in my um, update videos before, but it's very roomy, very comfortable, very easy to put on. <clears throat> very easy to put on after you take your shower or um, are just ready to wear something new. Um, and it comes in three colors. This comes in black, pink, and blue. Um, so you can have a variety of them. They also have uh, pockets on the inside. 
Let me open it up for you. So on the inside here, they have pockets. So if you have drains, you can just plop them down there in the pockets. If you don't have a hook or a bobby pin to, to hold it up, um, that was really helpful in, in kind of just keeping things out of the way. So um, I would definitely recommend some kind of a recovery shirt. Um, and again, I'll have the links for this below. All right, um, another thing that I recommend is um, now when you take a shower after your surgery, you wanna make sure that um, you're getting yourself clean and all that because you can be more prone to infections and whatnot. Um, I found that I really, really enjoyed this soap that I got from Amazon. Uh, I think it's going to film this backwards, but I'll put it below. It's called um, the Therapy Antifungal Therapeutic Soap. Um, it's by Dermanu Natural and Organic. Um, it's an all over body wash. You can use it everywhere. I really, really do love, though, the fact that in this soap, they have tea tree oil and mint. And it was just very um, refreshing to use on the skin. Um, it had great aroma as well. So it was really helpful for the days when I was feeling um, kind of down or out of it or just needed a boost. Just that little extra aroma from um, the body wash would kind of be really good in kind of jolting me a little bit more awake. So I definitely recommend this um, therapeutic body wash. All right, another thing that I had um, was, and it seems silly until you need it, is gauze, extra gauze, because um, you'll be all patted down with gauze in your surgical bra when you leave, but of course, when you take your shower and you gotta toss the gauze that has already been used, if you don't have replacement gauze right after, it can kind of be uncomfortable because of your surgery and your stitches, and for me, my drains that were in, um, just having the extra padding over all of those uh, surgery sites, my stitches, the drain spots um, was very key for keeping me comfortable. So having extra gauze on hand to replace old gauze um, was very, very crucial and critical for me. Um, I definitely probably had about three boxes or so, and this is like my last box. So. Um, definitely used it. It was useful. Um, it, it made sure everything was kind of comfortable before I compressed myself with my surgical bra. So uh, again, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you have some extra gauze on hand. Uh, next for me, as my surgery sites on my breasts were healing, um, my skin felt very, very tight and dry. Um, I think it was just or it is just because of the surgery and what was done, but to help kind of soothe those and, and minimize that dry feeling um, on my surgical sites, I used um, some natural oils. And so I recommend um, the vitamin E oil and um, some coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil. Um, I would just blend these together in my hand and after my showers, I would take time to kind of massage uh, over the surgery sites and um, really kind of work it in there. Um, it's great for your skin for head to toe. So I, I do end up actually putting it all over my body, um, but it felt good and it was very soothing for those times when those sites felt really tight and um, they needed the skin to be a little bit more moisturized. So they do have stuff like um, surgery or scar creams and things, but my breast surgeon um, didn't recommend going with those. He said, you know, those are kind of expensive um, and you could just use natural oils and um, you can end up with the same kind of results. So I would also say if you're going to use some kind of those um, surgical oils and creams and things like that, talk to your breast surgeon first or talk to your surgeon first to make sure that there won't be any kind of negative side effects. 
he did have someone who used some kind of a recovery oil or cream and it ended up leaving burns on their skin. So make sure you speak with your professionals about their recommendations if you have any questions. But just pure vitamin E oil and extra virgin coconut oil is what I used and it's a great blend. And uh, all of my sites and things are healing really nicely. So that's what I recommend. Um, this kind of might seem a little silly. I don't know, but you'll probably be taking lots of different pain pills and pain meds and other kind of meds during your recovery time. So you always want to make sure you have some kind of a water bottle. I, my favorite color is green. So I wanted to make sure I got something nice and fancy and cute for just this time. Just those little things to comfort me and um, make the experience a little bit more enjoyable. But it also reminded me to, to stay hydrated because whenever this gets to the bottom, I immediately fill it back up and uh, have it on hand. So make sure you have a water bottle of some sort next to you. Not only will the water help hydrate you from inside out, um, but you'll need it when you're taking your medication. Um, it can help keep you mobile because if you start drinking a lot of water, you'll have to get up and use the bathroom. And that's a good thing because walking during that time um, is a really great exercise and exercise does help the body repair itself. So water bottle, multiple effects of um, benefits when you're using something like this. Okay, so for me, I made sure that I spoke to my breast surgeon when I was going through the cover or before recovery actually and I asked him um, how he felt about using CBD products during this time and he was not opposed to it so I will preface this by saying please talk to your breast surgeon and also because CBD is not just across the board at this time um, accepted throughout the United States that you want to refer to your state laws on that but I used a CBD tincture at night to help me sleep, especially on the days where I felt a lot of pain. I would take um, my pain uh, medication first, give myself about an hour, and then I would take my CBD tincture. I'm not really going to show the label because again, everybody's laws are different when it comes to CBD products in each state. So again, make sure you check with your state laws. And if this is the route you want to go, speak to your surgeons about it to make sure um, if they support you doing that and if they do i would suggest again a cbd tincture i would use this one um focus on rest so i would use it at night to help me sleep they do have tinctures that can focus on energy they can kind of give you a little bit of boost during the day but i chose to focus on sleep because i felt like sleep was something my body needed to help it recover so uh talk to your doctor about their recommendation Okay, and now it's time for my number one thing that I recommend for anybody going through this journey. Um, I absolutely love this. I still use it now, um, now that I am post-surgery stage, but I have used this since day one of my surgery, and I basically have kept it all around me ever since then, and it is a mastectomy pillow. This pillow has three parts to it the front and the sides this is for your arms because it can go under your arms and you can wear it with these straps over your shoulders so you're not having to carry it around and it has a nice pocket up front here i used to keep my uh, medication in here uh, as i walked around or um, if i was sitting by the tv and i had a little remote i would tuck it in there or i'd have my cell phone in there and um, it actually has more pockets on the other side now these pockets are useful if you are using like some kind of cold compress or heat compress um, in your recovery. You could slip them in there and then put this on uh, with that part facing you. Um, and it has the little hooks in the back, the little um, snap right here. You can adjust the straps for the size. It is awesome. It's also great to have um, in the car with you, which is the way that I used it first. Um, after my surgery, when we left the hospital, um, I had this on and it helped keep um, my chest protected as I wore my seatbelt. So um, 
again this has been one of my favorite things is very very comfortable and comforting during a time when having little things that comfort you are very very uh important so i highly highly recommend if you're gonna buy anything off of the list let this be it this mastectomy pillow has um, comforted me it has um kept me safe and protected it's you know when i lay down and i'm laying down next to my husband sometimes he could get a little wild with his arms <laughs> in the night but having this here would kind of like keep it keep me protected and if his arm just kind of went flying over and flopping on me at least i had something to uh protect me so again highly 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 recommend this this should be the one thing that you get on this list if nothing else so that's it. I hope that all of these recommendations will work for you or for someone that you know that's going through this journey. Again, I'll have all of the links to the items down in the description below. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Please remember to subscribe as I go through this journey or share this video with anyone who's going through this journey. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.